Hey, Gabe. Uh, last Sunday, you caught your first NFL touchdown. Uh, what was that moment like for you? Uh, I mean, being a rookie and everything, what was that moment like for you? Um, you know, it was a very surreal moment for me. Um, you know, scoring a touchdown in the NFL is something that I've dreamed about doing since I was a little kid. And so uh, you spend all this time going through high school, college, and then um, just take, having an opportunity to make all those dreams come true uh, was very um, special to me, and I'll hold that dear to my heart forever. When when you guys are going over the game plan, I mean, obviously you were a tight end and now uh, you're a fullback. Do coaches tell you keep on, like when you see Justin moving around in the pocket and stuff, they tell you to keep on moving? Because in that play, it seemed like you went into the end zone, you, st you saw that he was moving, so you kept on moving along with him, and that's how you got yourself open. Is that um, something that the coaches – yeah, scramble drill is something that we work all the time. So just being able to, you know, turn a play that might be uh, trending in a downward direction, just being able to move around as uh, receivers uh, can sometimes extend plays. And that's where you see a lot of big plays in this league is guys that can extend plays. And Justin's really, really good at that. So um, we're very lucky to have him. And I was just lucky to be in the right place at the right time. And uh, last question for me. Um, has the game slowed down for you uh, a bit? Like, I, I know at the beginning, it's like sometimes rookies have nerves and stuff, especially without no OTAs and no preseason games. But do you feel like it's kind of slowed down? You've kind of um, got a feel for it now that you, uh, you've accumulated uh, about seven games? Um, yeah, I definitely feel like as the season has gone on, uh, I know for sure the first time I got out there was – it was very fast, and there's a lot of emotions, a lot of thoughts running through your head because you don't want to make mistakes and you want to do everything you can to perform well. And so I think that um, as we've gone along, I've gotten a lot more comfortable, and I know that a lot of uh, other guys that are in the similar positions like JK, guys like that, have also uh, been able to really just um, get more confident as the um, games have gone on. Thank you, Gabe. Yep. Gilbert. Hey, uh, Gabe, have you gotten a chance to watch the replay on Justin Herbert's throw, the touchdown pass to you? You kind of curved it around the defender, and it was a, a, you know, a pretty, uh, pretty nice throw. Uh, were you amazed at how you kind of got it in there? Yeah, I actually did go back and see it. It's crazy. It's, it's magic. I don't know. The, being his roommate and just knowing what kind of guy he is, he's very special. So just being able to make plays like that, uh, he'll be in this league for a very, very long time. I'm very confident, and he'll be, uh, if not the best quarterback, for years to come. Gabe, uh, you, you said roommate. Are you guys currently roommates or was that a training camp thing? Oh, uh, we, we, me, him, and uh, one of the other guys on the team, Nate Gillum, we, we became very close during uh, training camp. And so um, for, for right now, we're all living together and we're just, we're really enjoying each other's company. So it's pretty fun. And Gabe, I, I think this is the first time we're actually getting a chance to talk to you. Uh, just curious about your story from going uh, to a tight end to a, to a fullback. I guess, what made you do that switch? Um, I played fullback my first two years in college. And so after we had a coaching change, I became a tight end due to the nature of the offense we ran. And so um, moving forward into uh, the, my transition into my professional career, um, I had a lot of coaches' opinions, and they just said that they felt that I would fit the fullback role um, due to my um, play style and just my ability to um, block out of the backfield and um, catch in the open space. And, and one more, Gabe. Uh, do you think, you know, the, you know Shane Steichen will use you more as, as a pass catching a fullback? Um, I sure hope so. But, um, I mean, at the end of the day, um, I just want to be able to help this team win. So whether that's blocking, catching, that's all I want to do. Thank you, Gabe. Yes, sir. Jeff Miller. Gabe, I don't know how this works in the NFL. Do you, do you were you able to like keep the ball from that touchdown, or how does that work? Uh, yeah, I, I was able to keep it. Um, apparently, they'll be able to get it painted for me with the date and everything, so I'll be able to do something very special with it. And do you know what you might do? Is you, are you going to keep it, or give it to somebody special, or do you have any idea? Um, I'll probably put it in like a. I'll probably put it in a case. Maybe send it home to my mom. I'm not sure yet. And then this is obviously a weird time with COVID and all this and stadiums either empty or barely uh, anybody there. W was it was the moment what you thought it would be, what you dreamed it would be, or was it a little bit weird just given the situation we're in? Um, I've kind of said this from the beginning, you know, as a rookie, the fact that there are less people in the stadium has kind of been helpful um, for me, at least, you know, the pr there's not as much pressure. 
but I mean, either way, the, the moment of being able to score your first touchdown in the NFL is a special moment, regardless of it was when you were four years or whether you were seven years old in the front yard or whether you're now 22, 23 now, um, being able to do it in the Denver Broncos stadium. So it was very special for me. Okay. Thank you. Last one for you, Gabe. Cam Buford. Hey, Gabe, just got a few questions for you. Having a rookie like um, Joshua Kelly in the backfield with you, somebody you can learn on, learn with and lean on, has that been helpful for your development? Uh, most definitely. You know, me and JK, uh, we're out there together on, on some plays. And so just the fact that we're both rookies and the fact that we both have to, you know, he has to rely on me to be able to block and open holes for him. And I just have to be able to just be confident enough that I'm going to be able to do a good job for him and he'll be able to make plays once I get him through the line of scrimmage uh, is something that me and him spend a lot of time talking about. And just being able to, you know, understand the offense on a deeper level uh, is something that me and him have definitely spent a lot of time together doing. So whether whether it's been training, understanding the playbook, understanding your teammates, what's been the best lesson you've learned throughout this this season thus far? Um, I think it's just definitely being a professional about everything that you do. Um, I'm fortunate enough, and I know a lot of the rookies are very fortunate enough to have guys like Keenan Allen, you know, LJ, just guys that have been here and been in this business for so long, um, and they know how to execute and they know how to practice. And so uh, I just think that those are just being able to understand those lessons um, and being able to learn from people is something that I've definitely uh, taken very seriously. Okay, and last one for me. You said you, you mentioned you're a roommate with Justin Herbert. Um, you got to give us your best Justin Herbert story. Off the field, off the field, not on the game. Give us your best Justin Herbert story. Um, Come uh, on, you got one. You got one you've been waiting to share with the people. Um, um, I'll say this. Yesterday was... Uh, my birthday and so me him and nate we had like a food fight low-key in our house oh, so wow. we were throwing we were throwing cake around it started as everyone just eating cupcakes and eventually we started throwing cake at each other so yeah, all right what well, well happy happy birthday my man happy Thank birthday you. and have a good one did you make him clean up did you make him clean up the the, the cake we got it all cleaned up <laughs> have a good one big guy thank you Thank happy you. birthday thank you